Good morning everybody. It is officially the last week of term, even though it really does not feel like the last week of term. It's a bit bizarre really. I'll take these off, shall I? Um, I've got my positive teacher t-shirt on today. Shameless plug in now. <laughs> um, my laptop's just crashed, so that's helpful. Uh-huh. It won't do anything. It just says not responding to everything. Even the task manager doesn't want to respond, so that's going well this morning. Um, I've had my breakfast, I've got my coffee. Um, I haven't got my diary out yet, which I really need to, because I'm sure I've got a meeting at some point. But anyway, um, I'm getting new um, computer chairs delivered today, so that's like, well, Gareth's very excited about it. I'm more thinking that cost a lot of money for a chair, to be honest. That's what I'm thinking. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I need to ring the vets. I need to ring the skip company to pick up the skip and get rid of it off my driveway. <laughs> it's full. And um, something else. Maybe bread. Something else I need to do on the phone, but I can't think what it is. Uh, so I'm sure I'll definitely remember that later. Yeah, the vet's opened at eight. Um, so I need to know what shelter they're taking Maverick to. That's what we've named the cat, by the way, if I've never said. Um, so that we can speak to them. Obviously, it's going to be what's best for him. So if they don't think that coming back to where he's been astray is what's best for him, then I appreciate that. As much as I want him back here and I feel like, you know, responsible, I guess, for him. Uh, I do appreciate that that might not be what's best for him, so we'll see. I mean, hopefully that they'll be happy, but I will take their advice on board. I'm not just going to blindly kind of do it just because it's what I want. <laughs> please work, laptop, please. Uh, you've got stuff to do. I don't have time for this. What else this week? So tomorrow we've got the 28 week appointment. Um, so I need to make sure everything's ready for that. Gareth's got to go and get the car checked because we have this really, really teeny, teeny, teeny hole in the tire, which makes the tire go down after like two weeks. It's the most annoying thing in the world. And the car guy can't find the hole anyway. But it's there. So that's annoying. Um, Mum will be dropping off the tea cakes this morning as usual. So we have bread um and yeah we literally break up on friday and it really doesn't feel like it it's the most weird last week of term ever especially like double weird because i'm not even setting up a new classroom or anything i know i've been helping my fears like do the corridor displays and things and get them organized but actually for myself i'm not doing any classroom stuff i am so glad that i've got tptc because at least i'll get to do some displays here so i'm really happy about that because uh, imagine me without a display what what is that um so yeah i'll keep you updated on the phone calls probably not the skip phone call you probably don't care but the cat phone call you might care i had a comment last week about that so just want to say thank you for all your lovely comments um about last week and the future of the channel and stuff i never realized kind of that you cared about my life in general <laughs> i don't mean that in an awful way i just mean like non-teaching so um yeah that was lovely my mum's here so burb Good morning, it is Tuesday the 14th of July and I'm just like hurrying because, um, well, I'm not hurrying, but I've got SLT this morning before I head to the midwife appointment at LGI. So I'm just, got that, I'm just eating my breakfast now. I've got my notes ready and everything and um, my wee sample. Lovely, that's done, I'm ready. 
I need to just double check the time of the appointment just in case it's actually half 11 and not 11. Because I'm like a fish and I can't remember. So we'll check that. I'm not going to film myself eating. No doubt someone will take offence to it. Um, so the vets didn't ring me back yesterday about Maverick, so I'm going to ring them probably just on the way to the hospital because it's just two, two birds, one stone sort of job. Um, and then I've got a fairly busy afternoon, I believe. I've got a handover meeting when I get back and a meeting with the head after that. And that'll kind of be it. Tuesday will be finished. So I've got a booklet that's going to go out to parents about the procedures for September, what doors bring the children to, what time and all that sort of stuff and their new teachers like pictures and stuff. So I've got that to do as well so that can go out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just check out this morning and um, eat. <laughs> have an extra large delivery. Boys. Boys, yeah. Do you mean to sign out? Is that all right? Cheers, dude. They're absolutely massive. These are the new chairs for the study that we've ordered. And my glamorous assistant, if that's what we're going to call what that was, um, is, um, I don't know whether he's going to unbox them or what, but. Not now. Not now, he says. That one's yours. This one's mine. Gareth's is slightly posher than mine, but I wasn't bothered about it being slightly posher. I need it because I've got a back made out of glass. He's a baby. Basically, I was also just about to show you my new look order, so I'll show you that. Okay, so the first thing that I got from New Look was a white, just a white long sleeve top. Uh, these are maternity, obviously, because you know I'm pregnant. If you didn't know, um, so I've got a white top with long sleeves because I feel like I'm a bit in between, like wanting a jumper but not wanting a t-shirt. Like so far, a long sleeve top would be good, and it wasn't very expensive. How much was it? um nine pounds um so i thought that and then i ordered two of this dress i've ordered size 14 uh, i'm not normally size 14 but i ordered size 14 because i just think the more room the better um so i ordered this like dress it's like a stretchy kind of material elastic material um it's like a snake print, leopardy, leopard print, snake print. I thought it'd be good for when I went back to work in sort of September when I'm quite heavily pregnant. So I got this colour, the cream, and these were quite cheap. I think I got them in the sale. So they're supposed to be £20, but I definitely didn't pay £20 for them. I think I paid like, there's a note here, so let's find out. I paid £9. I think that's called off-white, but I would definitely not describe it as off-white. I would definitely say it's, it's certainly cream. <laughs> and then I got it in green as well. So I have green and um, cream, basically. I thought it'd just be a good dress for work with some tights. If it's cold and it's long enough that if it's hot, that that's fine. It's got long sleeves as well. So I don't have to worry about a cardigan not fitting me. I thought, right, winner. So I'm quite pleased with them. I shall not try them on and do a Sabrina for you. Although that'd be really cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I've got. I'm quite pleased with it. So total that came to £30 with including delivery. So not bad really for like three things, two whole dresses and, and a top. Uh, can't grumble really. So yeah, quite pleased with that. So that just arrived. I need to go and put it all away and get rid of all the plastic. 
Um, yeah, so. Oh, they smell weird. Leather. Is it actually leather or is it pleather? Yeah, it's fake leather. <laughs> I say it doesn't smell like leather. <laughs> Is this just the first chair? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hello, it's still Tuesday. <laughs> Um, I thought I'd give you a Maverick update, which is the uh, stray cat that we took to the vet last week uh, because he had a abscess on his ear. We didn't know that it was just bleeding. Um, basically, the vet has the vet has said that they would basically go in and release him where they found him, which is technically my house. <laughs> so they are gonna allow us to basically take him and try and see if he will kind of adopt with us anyway because really like in our back garden is where we found him technically so it won't be any different other than the fact that we're just going to try and see if he'll stay um so he's being um neutered tomorrow castrated and we're supposed to be today but they were so busy it got pushed back to tomorrow so that's that um, the RSPCA have paid for his abscess fixing and um, the um, neutering. So, like, Gareth and I will probably, like, make a donation or something um, to them. Um, and then we will pay for him to have his injections and give him a microchip. We've given him his name. We told the vets his name. We, I. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to ring back on Thursday to find out... Um, if the operation's gone well and how he's doing and then arrange to um, get the chip and the vaccination and then go and pick him up. So hopefully by the end of this week on this vlog, you will have a full maverick end of the cat saga <laughs> and hopefully you'll be literally here in this house roaming around content. That's what I'm hoping. Maybe not by the end of this week content, but you know, happy, I hope and loved definitely so yeah that's the maverick update for now and i will update you again on maverick on thursday when i ring the vets i was building the second chair but my chair is complete so you can i oh, know it's gonna pull these off it's a disaster oh mine's got a slightly different base did i mine solid man yeah it's solid what's mine it's plastic oh well how rude that's not good I think this mine's got some more stuff to it, it has to be a bit stronger. Gareth's is posher, his desk is messy though. Atom GT. It's very fancy. Open Atom. Right, oh god it does all this twizzling stuff, it's just twizzled Gareth, how do I untwizzle that arm? Oh, so just do it like that. Yeah, you've got three settings. It's hard getting that middle ground because it's still You're all the way right. Middle, left. Okay, I thought I broke it. Yeah. There it is. If you break it, there's 24 months there, guaranteed. Perfect. Just an update for you guys here on the vlog. Um, the vets called me, um, like 20 to 8, basically to say that he's going to be neutered tomorrow and do we want to put the microchip in at the same time? So I said yes. So And he's going to get his injections. So he's all ready to come home, basically, once he's recovered. So, yes, yeah, so excited. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, the 15th of July. I'm so good at that. Sarcasm. Um, all the days are the same. <laughs> yeah. I had a, a, a date meeting with the wife, work wife, this morning and uh, we just talked about the literacy for next well for september next year sounds a bit weird but it is next year um so i've just done some spag bits on it and saved it um so that's the first few weeks are kind of ready to go um i have done some more reading planning for homework and i have done a OT training session, the last one, woohoo! So that's finished. Um, 
I've got the whole staff briefing at three o'clock today. That's the only other meeting I've got. I was just on standby for the Google Meet for year three, but that seems to have gone smoothly as far as I am aware. So winning. Um, yeah, I'm just making a list of things to do, mention, sort, delegate in the phase meeting, which I've got tomorrow afternoon. I've also got my handover of my class tomorrow afternoon to the year five teachers. So yeah, that's what's happening. And on Friday afternoon, we are, I am, not we, I, I'm going to um, meet up with my team, socially distanced, don't panic, um, in one of their gardens to have like a little lunch sort of end of year kind of thing. We normally all go out together at the end of the year as a school, but obviously it's not really going to happen. So we thought we'd just do our own little phase thing. And um, obviously um, one of my team's baby is due in a few weeks. So yeah, I've got little surprises to give her. So that'll be nice. Um, yeah, so I'll try and video some of that as well. Should be on the vlog. Exciting, look forward to that. Um, but yeah, that's it really for today. I am going to ring later and find out about Mav and see how his uh, castration went. Poor little thing. Um, Gareth and I have decided, because we've been doing it, well, I've been doing a bit of reading, I don't think he has yet, uh, about introducing him to the cats, even though he already knows our cats, just like trying to make it the best process possible. So we're going to keep him in here, because this door, that door locks. So he can be in here and in the utility room that's just there. Um, and then the, our cats can have kind of their normal rest of the house um, because he can't go out for a while. So we're going to just try and keep him in as long as we kind of can. I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see. So he's going to be in here. So just order some stuff off of Amazon, um, like his own. So it doesn't smell like our cats. It'll just be his. So um, like a little mini cat tree thing. So we got something to scratch and it's got like a little hammock bed. And then I've bought new cat bowls for him. Um, they're quite cute because it's like the same little cat shape thing in three different colours. So eventually I'm hoping that I can give them one each and it'll look really cute. Um, not that they ever eat at the same time. My current cats don't eat at the same time. So getting a picture of them actually eating from them might be a miracle. So yeah, he's going to be in here. So I'm just going to cat proof it to a certain degree, aka my ginormous gym ball for uh, my pelvis and stuff. His birthing ball, whatever you want to call it, is going to move out of here because I don't know if he'll attack it or be frightened of it. So we'll just move it. Um, the new chairs are going well, quite comfy. Got nice back support, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on with the rest of the um, planning for literacy. Got to poke them all, got to catch them all. To do, we're doing non-crons by the way in September. The first one was Angry Birds and the second one is Pokemon. So that's my next one to plan. I do like planning Pokemon, so... There's only 151. Oh, I'll just trigger so many... Uh, I, I doubt anyone will care. I know people will care. Yeah, they probably don't watch my vlog, though, if they do care. Well, they should. Like and subscribe. They should watch my vlog. <laughs> wow, he's getting it, isn't he? Bless him. Only a year or so later. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the plan and um, I've got some TPTC stuff to do tonight, just saving things as images so that you guys can like make them bigger, smaller, that kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of my job later on tonight and I've got a meeting with Rachel tomorrow. I need to put that in my diary actually. I'll do that now before I forget. Because um, she's a super busy lady right now. Like moving to the new office and stuff, which I'm so excited to actually get to go to. Like, but she's, you know, I'm the pregnant lady, so she doesn't want that stress. <laughs> anyway, um, 
if you don't know that Rachel lives quite close to me, like um, we're, we're both live in Yorkshire. I'll narrow it down Yorkshire. for you. If you can't tell from the accent, uh, I think Rachel's accent's very different to mine, though, even though we're both from Yorkshire. Um, but yeah, like the office is kind of closer to me than it is to her as well, so that's kind of nice. So, um, it is, yeah, so in, sort of in the middle, really, but yeah, um, I'm excited to go. And that's it. I'm going to ship waffling now. Hello, it's the afternoon and the vets have rung me. Quick Maverick update, basically. Um, he is fine. He's recovering from his castration and he's been microchipped. Um, they asked if we wanted to pick him up today, but we decided because we need to get things ready for him that we'll pick him up tomorrow morning. Uh, so that's exciting. I can't wait. Um, so tomorrow morning we'll be going to get him. Um, it's literally the, the vet's raise is around the corner, so it's really not too far. And then um, we've got 10 days where he can't like be in contact with Ty and Silver while he gets over his operation. Then I've got to take him back to the vet's to get his injections. And we're going to do a blood test to make sure he's not got the FIV, which is basically the cat version of HIV. Um, so we're just going to double check that he doesn't have that. <laughs> It shouldn't transfer to our cats unless he really bites them. Um, so hopefully that will happen anyway. But best to check and then we can relax if he doesn't have it. So that's good. Because obviously he's been living on the streets. We also found out that the vet thinks he's about five. <laughs> which is about the same age as our cats are. I think our cats are actually six. But she said about five or six based on his teeth. But it's difficult when they've been living on the streets. Because obviously it's just kind of well they've just looked after him have they so um yeah so yeah tomorrow baby mav's coming home he's not really a baby as he's five but still um unfortunately his little cat tree thing won't arrive while saturday um so i've just put like a cover in the utility room it's like a makeshift bed and then his bowls new brand new bowls um should be arriving today and then we've got a spare cat litter tray from my my old boy who um passed away last year um, from my mum so we've got a litter tray for him that's just his um, and he won't be able to meet our cats until he's had his injections because it could hurt him basically because our cats could be immune and, and, and he's not and they're bringing things in because they're still going out and things so yeah just hope that tomorrow goes really smoothly to be honest and uh, it doesn't cause too much stress amongst the cats <laughs> um but we'll see so yeah that's the marvel update i wanted to show you guys these like super cute cat balls that i got from amazon and they came in a three pack with three different colors um and maverick's going to use them to start with because they've obviously not been used by our cat but then um hopefully when we they can eat together there's one for each of them i thought it was so cute i'm gonna have to get some more of them they're just the cutest ball i love them good morning everybody it is thursday the 16th of july and today we are going to pick up maverick this morning uh he will be in here so no doubt i will show you the whole process um yeah so so excited i can't wait i've been up since seven like and normally I've been laying in a little bit longer than that. Put the washing on so that, that can be out of the way when he gets here so that the washer's not on. I've got like a cartload of washing because we've had just horrible weather and today is like nice and sunny, typical. Um, so yeah, we'll be going to pick him up in about, I don't know, half an hour or so. So I'm just sending a few emails. Um, I've got to be, well, I won't be very long because the vet's only around the corner, literally. Um, so hopefully it won't be long. I've got a couple of questions that I just thought of that I wanted to ask. Um, I'm just, um, been watching like videos or like reading articles about how to best introduce the cat, how to like not frighten him and stuff. So I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Exciting. <laughs> so the cute cat balls from Amazon are set up. I don't have wet food currently in the grey one, so I don't know if he's been fed this morning, so I'm just going to wait and see. And then his litter's over there, as far away from me as we could, kind of could possibly. And then in there, it's, well, I've got it shut because the washer's on, as you can hear, but 
got like a mat for him to sleep on. We have got a cat, little cat tree hammock coming, but it hasn't come yet. So, yeah. We're just here, outside the vets, waiting. Listening to a dog cry. <laughs> Oh dear God. You be you. Eat on my We're a much more settled baby, aren't we now? Yes. Hmm. The camera! I think you have a camera. You're in the parlour, are you now? Look at you. Clever boy. So it's after school, and I'm just currently making the fusion labels and the coordinating solids. Good morning everybody. It's Friday the 17th of July and it's the last day of term. Can you believe it? It's here and yeah, it's a weird one. Um, I apologise for the washing machine in advance. But it's a nice sunny day today, so tough. <laughs> uh, so I'm just setting up some Lexia stuff for um, one of the kids to log in. Um, Unfortunately, mum's at work, so she didn't answer, but I've sent the letter anyway, so that's all good. Um, I've just put a message on my Google Classroom to say bye to the kids, I guess, and have a nice summer sort of thing. Um, so hopefully they'll see it. Um, Mav, update. He's all right. He's under Gareth's desk on his little mat. Um, He's coming, are you? Oh, such a lovely boy. <laughs> he just walked past me. <laughs> are you coming to say hello? Yeah, come on then. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh. <laughs> Still not. broken his tail at some point because it's like got a big kink in it. <laughs> some kind of desk. I'll show you him. Here he is, look. Decided to wake himself up. Looking out the window to his territory. I've wiped the anti-backed places as well because with him being a tomcat and obviously stuck in one room, he doesn't smell great all the time, bless him. He also likes Gareth's chair. I don't think Gareth's impressed about it, but never mind. He's got a hoodie on there at the moment to protect it. Brand new chairs. <laughs> Might go in for a wee. Sorry about your privacy, Mav. Anyway, so this afternoon, uh, we actually break up. Um, so I'm going to um, one of my team's house, socially distanced in the garden, don't panic, um, to have like sort of a baby shower, sort of like an end of year lunch thing. Um, so I'm taking sandwiches. I also need to take the card, so I need to get those out of the cupboard. Um, so, yeah, that's lovely. And they said I'm allowed to film some of it, so you'll get to see soon. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. That's the end of the year, and I can't really believe it. Um, next year, baby permitting. <clears throat> I'll be back for a few weeks. 
uh, before I go off to have baby Jawa. Oh, he's doing. He's up there. Mm. What? <laughs> you shocked, little man. Anyway. So that's what's happened this afternoon. So probably the next like footage you'll probably see um, is me arriving <laughs> at um, Ellie's. So yeah, um, I'm excited. Nervous though. Worried about needing the loo because you know, baby bladder. It's also not my baby shower, by the way. It's um, the other member of our team that's due in like a few weeks. So. I'm not having a baby shower, just for the record. We're having a christening in December, in case you wondered, and probably will film if you were interested uh, in terms of baby updates and um, the christening. And it will be on our wedding anniversary and in the church we got married in, so I'm really, I booked that already. Presumptuous perhaps, but organised definitely. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, it's like perfect because it's a Saturday, so. I'm going to go and talk to Mab now. <laughs> oh, you can be a little straight and a bit, but it will You should have done all the other bikes going to win it. I'm back. I just thought I'd show you what um, school have bought me. Like this lovely hamper of lots of different things. So um, I will endeavour to film me opening it. Because you can't see through the plastic. <laughs> so I'm just going to open some of the presents that I got from um, school. So these ones are from my TA, Tony. I don't know if Gareth's going to join us, but possibly not. Oh, oh, there's one for Gareth though. Oh. Oh. So she's got us some Disney mugs. And mine is L. Oh, it squeaks. Oh. I'll stand it was. It's G. It's G. Those are cute. I like them. I like the gold handles too. <laughs> and the Disney, obviously. Perfect. Do they need to go through the dishwasher, possibly? I would assume so. Is there a dishwasher space? Uh, made in China. Excellent. Good to know. I think you have to peel off the sticker. Hand wash only. Damn it. Mm. <laughs> oh well. The end of the world. Put them in the sink and I will hand wash them. And something else. Oh. oh, how soft is that? It's a little giraffe for baby J. It's called Comforter. We'll have to think of a better name. Comforter of the giraffe just doesn't roll off the tongue. Oh, does it not? Comforter the giraffe is not an acceptable name. Maybe Jeffrey or something. Could be uh, the first name for both, can not and then all this stuff is from, I assume, everybody at work, at school, so that's kind of, wow. Uh, also, we're rather early because we're not due to October, but um, we'll open it now so we know what we don't need to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the noise. Time for the cat. So we've got... Some cotton balls. I think you can never have too many. Cotton balls. Mm -hmm. Wipes. You never have too many there. Never. Could be a lot of wiping. Uh, as a little, little, um, a little, little, a handy size pseudo creme, pseudo cream, whatever you call it. Uh, so that'll be good for the nappy bag. Very cute. I don't know what to open next. Let's do the front one. There's a tag on this. Lucy. Are they all chipped in a little too much? I don't know. I don't know how. 
Are they some muslins? Nappy boosters. Oh. I don't know what they do. I will investigate. Super absorb the nappy boosters. I think it's to protect, like, an extra layer outside the nappy. Gareth shall investigate. Thank you, Lucy. I don't know. So this one, I think, says from uh, Sarah and Georgia from the office. Oh, I love the uh, tissue paper with the rainbows on it. That's so cute. Oh, oh, oh. So it's a oh, little, little panda and little bottoms that are grey and stripy. Cute. Let's check the age so I know. Three to six, perfect. A little bit of three to six. Cute. I will put it with the three to six once it's washed. Mm -hmm. 36 and three to six. I love this tissue paper. Obsessed. Rainbows. I'm going to reuse that. It's like rainbow six here. Just like that. No one will ever know it was used before. <laughs> Oh my god, this wrapping paper is adorable. The bunnies. It Lois, I yes. Thank you. I don't know who it's from. Thank you. <laughs> the paper is beautiful. Oh, it's really nice, like firm as well, paper. Three sleep suits. Oh, they're lovely as well. My mind went, what you can only sleep eight three times? Three to six, perfect, don't I? Three to six sleep suits, so that's perfect. Thank you. Uh, so there's like stars and shapes, um, like green Stripes. stripe, and then there's um, little zebras and mice and animals. Organic as well, FYI. Oh, the potential in the neighbors. I'm trying to get it now. I knew who they were all from, but oh, Sue. Sue wrote her own name. <laughs> I just love how soft the feel. <laughs> like it's been no. Can I turn it over, please? Thank you. It's been no way or anything. <laughs> it's, it feels warm. A oh, baby blanket. That's cute. I don't really have many baby blankets, to be honest. I have a, a fancy one, but not really any actual oh, one, <laughs> actual ones. It's a bit lovely. I love the grey colour as well. Very neutral, and it's got little stars on it. So thank you, Sue. Gareth's obsessed star. already. Ah. A little star, and then this one. This bag's gorgeous. This is from Katie and Natalie. I mean, the bag itself is just beautiful. Isn't it? Oh well, of course, Katie would know that. Oh. I would like a book, and it's the Hungry Caterpillar. Yeah, it is the first book actually. Baby's been bought. I'm so happy with that. I love that book. It's oh, hard it as well. It's lovely. It's a proper, proper one. Yeah, lovely. Oh, read. You go for it, love. First baby book, but I would assume by Katie. <laughs> and, oh. So there's two little, well, there's this little, I don't know what it's called. Vest? not a vest it's really cute though it's got bambi and thumper on it uh, is it like a big ba baby grow short baby grow no i think you put a vest under it if it's like a warmer day you know like instead of a sleep suit if you just i think that's what it is i'm not very good at this baby stuff. i'm sure we'll find a use for it oh and matching hungry caterpillar vest oh look. oh Lovely. Official The Hungry Caterpillar. Spiral up. alert becomes a butterfly. Lovely. Thank you very much. And the bag is kind of gorgeous. I'm not going to want to keep... What can I do with this bag is what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, nothing if I rip it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> this bag is amazing. <coughs> uh oh. Oh, sad face. Thank you, everybody. It's lovely. And I will... Um, sign out my vlog for the end of the year here I think um thank you all for following my journey this year 
there will be some videos over the summer coming um, there's definitely the uh, second trimester next Saturday um, videos live Saturdays at three o'clock and then I will be doing some more content over the summer as well so <laughs> please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you next week in trimester 2 video.